only one truth. And the Bible is very clear as to what truth is. There can be no doubt that evil is a living reality in the world that we live in. Evil is everywhere. And we find so much evil in the media. So much blatant blasphemy that it seems as if the devil and his angels have taken over the planet. If evil is a reality, then God is a reality too. And if the devil has succeeded in removing God from the marketplace, if he has removed him out of the school systems, if he has removed him from the legislative halls of the world, then how much more so can we be sure that he will do everything in his power to remove him from the hearts and minds of people? And if he can distort God's word, and if he can implement his false theologies and bring them to fruition, then this would be in harmony with what we see in the world. Is the world improving in morality or is it declining in morality? Are things getting better or are they getting worse? Well, if they're getting worse on the natural level, how much more so on the spiritual level? There is a war. The Bible says we are not fighting against flesh and blood. We are fighting against principalities and powers. And where is the battle raging? It's raging in the church. So can we not expect the devil to be extremely active at the level of the church? Of course. And so we should not be surprised that there are false doctrines. Even amongst people who believe and love the truth, will he not try like a wedge to enter his false doctrine and introduce false concepts about God and the way to worship God? Today there's so much syncretism. We claim to believe God, but we worship him in the style of Baal. And all of these criteria intermingle with the theological systems of the world and we want to incorporate everyone under one roof. There is only one truth and the Bible is very clear as to what truth is. Thy word is truth. I am the way, the truth and the life. All thy commandments of truth. Thy law is truth. Those are the only definitions of truth in the Bible. So shouldn't those be the criteria that are being attacked? If the Bible says thy law is truth, does he attack the law? Of course he attacks the law. He eradicates the law. He says it's abrogated. I am the way, the truth, and the life. If you have an ecumenical relationship and a world gathering of religious systems all claiming that they serve the same God, then the way and the truth has been eradicated from the system and the word? Well, the word has been ridiculed to the point where it is virtually non-existent from creation to revelation. This is a war, and this war needs to be fought. And you can't only have one side fighting the war, both sides. Now, the Bible says that God does not use the weapons that Satan uses. He cannot use coercion. He cannot lie. He cannot use the, the methods that the devil uses. So this is a war of minds. This is a clash of minds. Like Martin Luther said, let the minds clash, but keep the fists still. So the word has to be paramount. And every single Protestant in the past believed that the word was the absolute criteria, sola scriptura, and so it must remain until the end of time.